whether it's the social media, buy their book, just one thing like that. Praise and you will, you, will, you will automatically Thank connect. You so so get on social media first. And serve, add and value serve. to yes. them first. Offer Hold something on. to them. Let First, me just ask okay. you. You see, each time you tell people, I, I do mentoring and I ask my protégés, write out your, your, we have three levels of mentoring, vertical, horizontal, and then downline. So, okay, can you get me your vertical uh, mentors? I see some of them writing Joyce Mayer, <laughs> writing T.D. Jakes. Friends, the definition of mentorship is intentional relationship plus scheduled meetings. Mm. That person doesn't know he's not your mentor. Mm. So you say you couldn't find someone you could do one leader challenge. It's not true. Mm. Papa was submitting to David Oyele or directly. And he looked at me and said, the gap is too wide apart. You go there before they will attend to you. If you say you have a mentor and you can't call the person on delivery anytime you want to call, it's not the mentor, it's a tormentor. <laughs> so, look at, before you become a world evangelist, prepare one first for the street. Mm. You want to prepare a city where could say, start with your street first. Mm. There is someone that is not, the gap is not too far apart that mm. is in this house. Even you in this connect, house. Connect with those persons first. Mm. I don't know if I'm, you want to start fishing, you want to start with shark. Try with tilapia first. Ah. Before you move to the next one. Thank word, you. word, word, word. And just, Number just, two. To, okay. just to add, when you're not able to reach somebody, you also can meet somebody who can connect you to somebody. Because if you are looking for somebody who makes cake and you are saying anybody, I know people who are many in this town who make cake. All I would have done is, oh, please, I'm sending somebody your way. And the person would accept the person wholeheartedly. Mm. So take advantage of the connections you already have. That's what I'm saying. Around you, there are people who know people, who know people, who hmm. know people, who know people. Hmm. Make sure you use those people. Hallelujah. That's why we link our hands in church to pray prophetically. Number two, who is the, the second person that raised their hand here? Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Asikia Tekena, and I want to appreciate my tutor, uh, Pastor Favor. Um, my question is also in line with the first question. I have issues with um, relating with someone. Like, okay, I've seen you that you are, you are ahead of me, and I like where you are. And coming close to you makes me feel like I'm selfish, like we're saying sending her over to the meeting because she has a mindset that she wants to get somewhere. For me, I don't know, I always have this feeling like I'm being selfish. I'm thinking of something to benefit from you. That's why I'm coming close to you. I have people that, like, when I was going through my... So what's your question? When Sorry. I was going through my continental, I met people that I really wanted to be close to. And, you know, calling them often and not getting a response from them. I started feeling bad. I felt, no, maybe I'm, I'm forcing myself on you and becoming too selfish because of what I want to benefit. Mm. I want to really handle that aspect of me because it gets to me in every angle. I try to get close to you, and at a point, I withdraw because I feel I'm selfish for what I want to get. Mm. Okay, Chim, do you want to answer? Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. First of all, I want to say thank you very much to my mama. Thank you mm. for giving me the, the, for honoring me not to make me sit here. <laughs> Honestly, I just told myself, you're not supposed to sit here. I just told myself, sorry, I'm like, I'm not supposed to be here. So come on, look at sit down. So thank you so much for giving me, for everyone here. I really look up to all of you. Thank you so much for giving me this space. Now, to respond to your, I understand what you're talking about. Mama, can I mention our, yeah. She knows what I'm talking about. It's, it's not easy because you probably think um, I'm going to be taking advantage of this person time and time again, Abby, and you don't want to do that. First and foremost, tell yourself, the person wants you to come. Do you understand? Especially if the person wants you to come. In our case, a very peculiar case. Now, how do you help, your, help the situation? You always... Try and come with something. Not every time you go to see the person, you go empty-handed. Even if it's one basket of orange. <laughs> I'm serious. 
Five hundred, two hundred naira will not kill you. Just go and give it to the person. From time to time, don't always go empty-handed. From time to time, you call and say, "Please, mama, what can I help you to do?" Do you understand? So that that way it doesn't look like you're always taking advantage of the person. From your own little, you think of things that you can help the person to do. You don't need to have a person to tell you, do this for me. You try and reach out. That way you, you feel that you're giving off something. It may not be much, but from where you are, you give out of something. Hallelujah. You know? Please, let's just welcome our papa is in the house. Can you make some noise? Whoa! Papa, welcome. We'll soon give you the stage. Okay, so please, can we just take the last question then, so that Papa can climb okay, up? Uh, yes. Let me just add, just before we go. Mm. Um, there are some mindsets. When I was teaching my group, I said something about having many voices. Mm. Many voices are speaking, but not all voices are the voice of God. Mm. Anything that will make you not get to your height in life, any voice that can distract you or discourage you from becoming who you are supposed to be, it's the devil's voice. Yeah. So if you know that your motive is right, mm -hmm. I'm not going after this person because I want something selfishly. Mm -hmm. I'm going out of after this person because I want to develop mm -hmm. and become what I am seeing in that person. It is not selfishness. Mm -hmm. So you need to take that mentality Off. away. That thing you have to discard it. Because me, there are times too, I used to have some kind, there's a what way of thinking. Look, the way you think will affect how you live. Mm. Everything about your life is based on what is happening up here in your head. As you're thinking that way, you're limiting yourself. So that means, what are you trying to say? What is that voice trying to say? That you should never need anybody. Mm. No man is an island. You will always need somebody. Hallelujah. I've had a few friends come into my life recently. One of them came to visit. I was at school. And when the person came to visit, got to the office and saw the school, as the person was going, I sent a message. I said, please, I have not arrived. <laughs> Don't think that because this school is here, mm. I have something. There is still somewhere I am going. Yeah. And I need you to be part of me getting to that place. Mm. You never get there. You will always need somebody. Mm. You will always Hallelujah. need somebody. So you go and make your intentions clear. I need you to train me. The person knows that they are coming for, you are going to them to, because you want to be trained. And they give you the training that they can give you. And make sure you too, you also try to give something back in return. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's take so the last question. Can I just say something? Okay. I think she is not desperate enough. <laughs> because if you really want that gift or that relationship, you have to break all the things you have mentioned, they are internal barriers. They are mm. happening within you. Mm. It is not a barrier set up by the mentor. Mm -hmm. So the challenge is with you. You have to be desperate. You have to break those barriers. You have to forget about those things like Mama said, all those internal voices and say, this is my goal. Mm. You have a goal. Why don't you want to achieve it? So go for it. Thank she you. She actually Thank needed you. that class. Mine is set and overhaul. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Dr. Osi, please, let's uh, ask the last question. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Osi Amatrinida Yamoka. My question, my teacher is Pastor um, Febo Osiri. And when she was talking, uh, teaching us on relationship mix, she said, you have vertical, okay, up vertical, down the other side, and you know other people in other areas. As when you want to grow expertise in a particular career, Knowing other things, how do you deal with distraction in knowing other things? Like me, I'm a toxicologist. Then I'm reading on nutrition now. I like nutrition. I'm reading on dermatology. I like dermatology. So going deep into knowing those things, don't you think it will breed distraction? And how do I combat with that? Thank you. Okay. I think I was uh, in impact meeting when Pastor George was talking about um, the took in church, the intelligent faith. Where he talked about how he went from physics to this to that and covered all of that area. That does not mean that is where he dwells every day. You understand what I'm saying? So when I say it's good for you to know a little about a lot, you become a wise person and not knowing everything about just one thing. For example, a 21st century parent 
you need to know a lot. Hello? So when I mean, when I said yes, you should know about your field and know other things. Like if you lead people, like as a pastor, you need to know about business. Does it mean you are sitting inside and sitting inside business master class? No. But you need to be aware. So that's, that's what makes you a wise person. So that when they are contributing, you can open your mouth and contribute. I told you something about a pastor's wife who said, whenever her husband and the children are discussing, she'll just sit down there. She'll be saying, I see. I see. I mean, why she didn't understand anything. She couldn't connect because she didn't understand. And by the time she went into the bathroom, the Holy Spirit told her, you did not see anything. You better go and learn. And she started studying in that part. And now when they are communicating, she can come in. I'm not a fan of football. My husband loves football. I don't like football. I like watching documentaries and talk shows. But I had to start liking football. I'm not a member of any team. But I had to like football so that when, because each time my husband preaches, he uses football analogies. So now I understand some techniques in football because I paid attention. I'm not going to play for Chelsea tomorrow. And knowing about football will not hurt me. It hasn't taken me away from pastoring and mentoring. So know a little about a lot. It will help you. Balance out. Hallelujah. This is the best we can do for now, please. Because Papa needs to come up. Okay, Mama says it should say. Okay, he wants to say something. Okay. The world is moving away from narrow knowledge because it's being replaced by robots. Those who know a single thing, artificial intelligence is replacing them. Yeah. Please, let's clap for our facilitators. And we refuse to believe on a lot of what went on in their group. God bless you for receive grace for that in Jesus' name. To give you uh, the information on somebody will say 100,000, bring out 250k, and it's so small that you still cannot think that uniform is going to be coming out identity with a group. We want that day, you see one color, you say, I, I must do something, and let me not put it as counseling, you just want to talk and see how God will step in 10 a.m. to Emmy. It's 10 a.m. Sit, 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 sit. All I'm begging you is get you off. You come and do my makeup. Please go back. Do you understand? If even earlier, but because you have children, nine is ideal. Get everybody to be involved. See the stretch summit that is at times 50 battery so high, high, high up there women. Who are going to how many ministry are women who are serving God? Full stop. Hallelujah. It's all in all your ways. In all your ways. And faith. Oh, 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 aim is powerful. Oh, Jesus. Now you say, oh, Jesus. Your name is powerful. Lift your voice and say, oh, Jesus. Powerful. Oh, oh, your name is Jesus. And let everyone shout, Amen. Help us in Jesus today. And 
the next few minutes before you go. If you came around at the impact meeting, you should offer us to leave. Please believe me, you know, if you help me say yes, that you are not comfortable before you stretch yourself. After they feel useless. Some of you, you went through that you studied. Some people think you need to go to one. They are stupid. And repeat one of the people that spoke. So you don't make American president because. So please find. Chapter 21. Because of the Lord and because of thy born woman, in all that Sarah had said unto thee, her early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water. And she cast the child under one of the shrub, her voice. Heard the voice of the Lord where he is, water, and gave. Let me see. Let me see. God. Are you with, with uh, right now? Said, send east until. Are you with me? Don't forget the servants. He and said to them, that's a huge faith. May the faith take. T is send away the bond of Abraham. So now this man, am I talking to somebody? Mighty man. From here, let him just die. She's over there. Sarah noticed it was simply an issue of and the, don't forget. He, I don't think you're getting it. A crying. The mother is over there. The pain that Hagar is having. I heard you are son. He, he, the boy, she has covenant. Clean your eyes. God opened. They get so frustrated that they stop growing. So fixated on what is against for marriage. So they own the lives. But have no business. But in the midst of your battles, lift your eyes. Any pastor can teach, and most what you are going through, you will make your go for bread. You and your children should. By the time Isaac was growing up, in that whole area, the survived another day. Survived another day. But if all you want is the marriage, you lost a life. You are more than a ring. At least one thing or another. Not a sick you can make a destiny in God. And do great. Is that the world is trying to save women. They narrate their problem. It's bad to be divorced too. So they go out believing they have a reason to be down together. And once in a while, we dash them a little. God owes me something. They see how I'm suffering. Our mothers and their husband died at the birth of the eighth one. 
It doesn't matter. Never accept sympathy. If I can't pay my rent, wives deserve to. They are the breadwinners. Accept that. With or without, you need to go back to school unless you really need to. Start handling. If you believe you don't deserve it, you can't have it. Am I talking to somebody? Don't let it look as though you are that. He says, it's just that God is helping them. See how God helped you. Look at the crops. Look at the when God owned it by himself. All that was there was elephant grass. Fighting. You wake up every Hello? Right now, so I can't step away. I know what to do. I shared the text a young girl sent to me. I, if I, he said, I'm the girl you paid her school fee, not a small business. Then when I re- because I remember the reason I gave her the, I said you can't do that. That's what we need. That's what we need. one young girl again. There was. And you decide to keep your table neat. I said, and just doing all of that. And then that's the truth. And if the man is serious, he will buy more. Never ask to, to fry fish. Stand by the roadside and he's just saying, use their mean school. Next time, use their mean school. What are you going to do? Take the bad and turn it to good. He was badly treated. And I don't know how he got him as a gift. You don't know how. As part of uh, pacifying Abraham for his, what he did. Ishmael still grew. Well, like, come on, are you hearing me? You forget the human angle. Because it's, it's only... And then... Uh, she went over there to handle wealth. Open your mouth. I'm waiting to hear women pray. You will know exactly what to do. And speed of results are released to you. Of Jesus Christ, God, you will arrive in the name of Jesus. Your home, let there be healing. Lift your hand. I curse arthritis. That hotness going forward, you will see the help of God. I command the blessing. Go and Okay, please, we're going to take our offering now. As soon as we are done with our offering, Papa will take... The Lord is good. Please. Left our homes. We are not the same way I came. Just appreciate him. He has done it. We just give you praise. We appreciate much we love you. We are here to tell you how much we pray. Hallelujah. That will provoke heaven. The point of being a CEO, the target of at least 30 persons. I quality offering unto God. If you bring out your heart, open up your mouth and begin to prophesy. And as it enables the real if the in Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you.